guys and welcome back to another video. Today we've got something real special for you. It's been a little while, but we've got the brand new 5G CPE Pro 3 here. Uh, and yeah, if you guys are familiar with this channel, you see that we've done videos before on the CP Pro 1 and the CP Pro 2, but this is the, the next generation version um, with all new chipsets. And it's, it's more of a similar design to the original CP Pro 1, um, but it does have no antenna ports like the CP Pro 2. Um, we will show you in a little bit about it and we will give you a little bit of speed test um, towards the end of the video. So if you want to skip to that, you can skip to that right now. All the timestamps will be in the description below. Um, but yeah, essentially this is just a sort of a quick unboxing and a quick speed test of this um, new CP Pro device here. Um, because I know a few of you guys have been asking about the Pro 3 uh, specifically because if you notice, there is no Huawei branding on it at all anymore, but it's it's essentially a, the same sort of blueprint for the device, um, just built by a slightly different manufacturer. So yeah, here is the box itself. Uh, you can see here, it has the 5G CP Pro on the top there. And on the back is all your information. Um, so you can see that you can get up to 1.8 gigabytes per second download, 250 megabits per second upload. Uh, so there's not much more you really could want. It's a 5G router, you can have up to 500 meters squared range, so perfect for house mesh you know, setups or just your house setup in general. You don't really need any more than that. And you can connect all your devices up to it. So, you know, you'll be good for a long time. You can connect your TV up to 128 devices, basically. So everything you want to run off this, you can with these absolutely humongous 5G speeds. So that's enough about the talk. We will go over what's in the box now. So if I put this here, you'll be able to see this is the front of the box itself. And if you just lift up, this bit here, you'll be able to see the device right here in front of me. So straight away, you'll notice that on the top, it says 5G just there, and then you've got your 5G, 4G, and status things there. If we just push all this box contents to the side for now, we can go over a bit more about it. So on the top, it looks very similar. And if you guys, as I said, knew about any of these devices previously, you will notice what exactly what I mean when I say it looks very similar to the CP Pro one. It does even have the lights around the bottom here once you plug it in, so very, very similar. And you can see the name here, which is H138380. So if you guys want to search that up, you can. You can see all the info that you need to see. So this is where all your passwords, your IP, your Wi-Fi passwords, and all your information is stored on the bottom here, along with your nano SIM card in there and your reset button, obviously. Then you've got three LAN ports here, one being a WAN port as well. Uh, a telephone port up here and power. So that's basically, it's just, a, it's, you know, it's your 5G router, the box standard. So we'll jump over to a few speed tests just now and then we will meet you back in a minute to go over some of the box contents. So if I bring this box back in here, you'll see there's one more compartment here um, and it's just full of the normal stuff. You've got your ethernet. This is a European charger here, but we do have UK spec chargers and UK spec devices as well. So you can have that if you wanted to. Um, and then also, as I said, if you guys are familiar with CPU devices previously, you will recognize this. This is your manual uh, and obviously looks very, very similar to any of the ones you've seen previously. So that's all the box contents. It's just standard stuff if you wanted any extra ethernet cables or anything, you can order them online. But yeah, essentially, that is the device in its entirety. It's a um, 5G device, you see the speeds there, and as a disclaimer, I just wanted to say that those 5G or 4G Cs that you saw in that test, um, it's because we're not in the perfect 5G scenario. If any of you guys do know anything about where we're located, um, we are quite near to the Silverstone racetrack in the UK, um, which does have a 5G mask, but however, we're not quite in that coverage. Um, and it's not great. So if you're in a city, you can expect much higher and more consistent speeds than what we get here. Um, we barely get 4G signal, so. Uh, but yeah, so we did test it for you because a lot of people always ask us for that. Um, however, those speeds obviously will be a lot faster wherever you guys are located. But yeah, that's about wraps it up, guys. We're just doing a quick sort of unboxing and um, speed test for you. So let us know if you want any questions about this device or if you want to see if this versus any of the ZTE or other types of 5G devices that we have here. So yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll hope to see you in the next video.